Aston Martin Racing running a high downforce package here in Nürburgring. So we thought we'd take the time to speak to the team and find out how this package affects the performance on track. And the regulations for 2016 have changed quite a lot from the previous year and there's a bit more freedom. So on our car specifically, we've targeted drag reduction as the main, the main benefit. Every body panel from last year has changed apart from the roof and the tailgate. So all new front fenders, the bumper, the underside of the car, seals and obviously the wing is quite smaller than last year hence we've had to focus a lot of aerodynamics on the underside of the car. Um, we've, we've basically exploited the whole of the the free volume if you like for the diffuser so it's pretty much maximum size and it basically just accelerates the air and draws it down the underside of the car and accelerates it creating a low pressure under the car and all of the, the fences are just to make sure it does draw air from the under the underside of the car and doesn't drag it in from the side so it just it just accelerates it creating the low pressure and then just fires it out the rear of the car. Um, and we've had to work the underside more because I'd say the, the rear wing now is a lot smaller, so we're having to generate the downforce under the car rather than traditionally on top of the car. Um, we try and do more in the center line of the car, as you can see from the rearward shape, um, because then it makes it less sensitive to roll. So we try and make it as, as um, placid as possible for the drivers. And they've maximised the size of the diffuser and obviously it extends out the back of the car where you look at the 15 uh, spec car, there's a bit at the bumper there's nothing more behind it. Where you look at the 16 you've got um, obviously this diffuser coming out you know, a fair amount of uh, uh, distance from the back of the car. And obviously when we as drivers first saw it we're like well in racing that might be a little bit of a, an issue because of guys right behind you and they might be able to use it to sort of push you offline etc. But we're now three races into the championship and we've had no issues like that at all so um, it's a solid bit of uh, bit of diffuser there a bit of carbon fiber right behind us so um, thankfully it does its job and it hasn't created any issues for us at Le Mans we've seen some big rooster tails coming up behind the car as well that's because of the diffuser uh, I mean and normally you get some sort of rooster tails out the back of the car but I think it's highlighted that even more uh, with the air coming underneath the car and being accelerated as it sort of heads towards the back of the car it picks up the water and, and it fires out the back in that big rooster tail that is really nice to see and Obviously when we're in the garages quite often we can't see the race cars as they come past the pits because they're behind the wall and all you can see is this big tail of uh, spray behind so um, yeah it's, it's increased that that's for sure. So with all that hard work that's gone into the aero package now let's see how they perform out on track here at Nürburgring.